and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some abs and hero here in standard 2020. It's going to be our next deck up. This is our second time to play this deck. We saw it before and I really liked it the, the previous time that we played it. So let's go ahead and bring it back. Uh, Soren Vengeful Bloodlord is just a really fun card to play. And of course, we have so many different multicolor cards, so we're like, why not play some Hero Precinct ones as well? Besides this deck being named Abzan Hero, and, you know, Hero being a cornerstone of the deck, besides that, this is also just a Bolas's Citadel deck. So we're trying to get Bolas Citadel in play, and then we have so much, uh, so many life gain cards and everything like that to be able to play with it. You know, whether we're like gaining life with Tulsimer, Bell Haunt, Knight of Autumn, Othakaya, Bond of Flourishing. That's kind of why these Bond of Flourishings are in the deck. They look a little weird, but it's basically two mana, look at the top three and put anything into your hand for the most part, you know, besides a couple of the spells down at the bottom or down in the lower part of the curve. Um, and then, you know, can also find a Citadel and is a good card to hit off a Citadel and so on. Um, I am trying, last time we played two Knight of Autumns, we're going to try one having one Sarah for the scales and one Knight of Autumn um, in here to have an, another impactful flyer in our deck as well. We'll see how that goes. Maybe we should have Knight of Autumn. Like, the Knight of Autumn is better with Citadel. It's it's a better-ish with Soren, like where if you play Knight on three and, and block and trade with it, then you can play Soren and immediately bring it back, uh, where, like, the Seraph and the Soren compete at the same uh, CMC slot. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Seraph's a more powerful card, but I could maybe see the Knight synergizing a little better. Um, but yeah, this is kind of our deck. We got the one flower to kind of help fix our mana grabbing a forest or a plains. It's not an effect I want a ton of, but it's a one mana card that can trigger hero, where if you have like turn two hero, turn three, you can play another hero and a flower and get two one ones, which can be pretty nice. So we got one of those in here um it can also reset the top of your library for citadel as well um so yeah let's give this a try so we're gonna be playing some standard 2020 this is where we play best of one um you know i i have some i'm somebody who prefers best of three myself but this format is only best of one so here we are so let's give this a try Oh, I've been doing really good, I've had been doing really good. Yeah, we did our uh, Throne of Eldraine set Brewer's set review yesterday where we talked about how you can brew with all the different cards, every single card. A very long process, but um, but it was really fun and everything like that. Um I'm not sure what what I'd really change for best of three. I kind of just you know built it with with best of one in mind, um, just originally and everything. Basically, like we would have a lot. I mean, this is this kind of deck would have a good sideboard. There's a lot of very good sideboard cards in the black and white colors, and then green has Veil of Summer as well. Hmm. Yeah, Cyborg can have more Assassin's Trophies, could have more of basically everything that's in, or like the, the cheap little spells that are in the, the main deck. You know, you can have Dispark, Mortify, that kind of stuff in the sideboard. I was worried about Hero with Shock. This, this is likely a Wilderness Reclamation deck. Most all the teamer decks that I've seen are Wilderness Reclamation decks. So I wanted to save the Knight of Autumn here. Uh, 
It's all about Citadel. If if Citadel resolves, we will likely win. If it doesn't, we will likely lose. So our first shot was not a success. All right, Scout, you can do it. One more win for Mythic for the first time. You got it. You got it, Scout. Storms are like a symphony, and I am a great conductor. Don't have to play around syncopate in this format. We do have to be worried about um, a Burn spell killing me. I remember. Pain hurts. Like explosion. Any more mana though need a reclamation. Yeah, now all of our creatures have lifelink as far as uh, Citadel is concerned. And then we have another. 10 life that we could gain here in hand as well. Yeah, that's true. If we would have had a hero, yeah, if we would have had like a hero at the beginning of the Citadel chain, it would have been nice, but. Better watch out. There's a storm brew. So right now, if they have Explosion, they could do 10 damage. So I guess they're kind of figuring out how they want to divide that. On fair and square. All right, trying to stay alive. We're back up. We're up to sixteen. I like having this instant speed mortify to be able, like, we can kill a reclamation at instant speed to our opponent's surprise. When they, you know, they drew too many cards with the explosion, so they they actually discarded a sabotage could be that they have more counter magic in hand. It's 
kind of the expectation there. Yeah, Citadel can only sacrifice 10 non-land permanents. So not lands. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 permanents. I don't like this Citadel bug. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I do have, so I have eight mana. That didn't go so well. This didn't go so well. Yeah, Arena is struggling a little bit today. Like, especially during this match. It hadn't really been too much before this match, but yeah, it's struggling here. They're just willing to do that as soon as I attack. Why Why don't they just cast Chemister's Insight main phase and see if they hit a land and can just play a land drop? Oh, I guess I could have gave the knight lifelink with Kethys playing Soren. I didn't really consider that. Yeah, I should have done this pre-combat. I could just get rid of the sword and bring back Bell Hunt. I think it's better to have the sword in play, though. <laughs> what a mess I've made. So we got two more lands down at the bottom of the library. This is 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 16 of our lands. There's probably 25 in the deck. 24 in the deck. Darn. So there's only eight more lands in the next 30 cards. Yeah, then they don't get to untap their mana, so that's just lethal here. They're at four. Soren and Kethys can can kill them. 
All right, well, I told y'all that match was about the Citadel. You know, when we had those two in hand, if we resolved it, we were probably going to win. If we didn't resolve it, we were probably going to lose. First one it didn't resolve. So we had our back against the wall needing to resolve the second one. It did. And we got there. Hey, Chasm. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, they could have played Niv Mizzet first, but it wouldn't really made a difference. Oh, my hype boats are gone. I have to. All right, I'm going to have to refresh the chat. Here, sometimes that's just like a a bug that happens that some of my emotes go away, and then I have to refresh. And now, now we're back. All right, back in chat. Okay, so bag of holding. Um. I don't really need to just play a flower here. It's creature or enchantment. doesn't destroy artifact. If they're going Bag of Holding, yeah, this could be a Chandra deck. Probably, I'm going to keep this card. Probably like Red Cavalier. Yeah, Jar, we're doing some... Uh, Standard 2020 here. I already have two green and two white. White's more important for me overall than green. So we're going with grabbing an extra planes here. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll kind of see what's going on here. Not exactly sure. Looks like a, you know, definitely looks like Boros control. Like some kind of board. It's some form of Boros control. Whether it's, you know, like Cavalier or Flame, like I said, or whether it's a bunch of Chandras. We'll kind of see. Um. Yeah, it could be a heartwarming, heartwarming rep. Uh, redemption. That could be a thing. Uh, people aren't playing mono blue in this format. The, the cards that are... A lot of cards that are... Uh, the keystones of mono blue are not in this format. I wish this Mortify destroyed an artifact. So yeah, it is champ... So... It is Cavalier Flame, so I'm glad that we kept the Mortify. They got rid of two Lava Coils, though, which is good for Seraph. I'm going to Mortify Neheb and have Dispark available for a Cavalier Flame. That's unfortunate. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
That went from unfortunate to fortunate real fast. Anything, living or dead. Good for you. Shuffling you on this time. Alright, those cards are gone. So now we just discard discard this card to the bag now. Oh well. They could have just activated bag and you know discarded this drawn a card and then discard that new card. So they basically they could have just put the top card of their library under the bag if they wanted to. Oh, they're still just going to do it. So yeah, it doesn't doesn't matter. Same thing. You don't have to discard then draw. It's draw then discard. So you can do it with no cards in hand. I don't have any way to get this Kaya back from my graveyard. Oh, yes, I do. I've kept this, but we'd have to get more legends and legendary cards in the graveyard. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I don't, I guess I could be, I could definitely be underrating Inquisitive Puppet, I'm just, yeah, I'm not sold there on that card, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm really underrating that card. Yeah, we'll see. This doesn't seem like a, a card that's good enough for standard to me, as I remember. I don't even remember exactly what it does. There you go. Yeah, so it's a one mana O2 ETB scry one. And you can exile it to make a one one. I'll be surprised if we don't have lethal here, especially with the Othakaya. Two and oh. Abs in here are looking pretty good. That uh, Kaya draw that we had was really, really clutch. Exiling the bag holding and got rid of so many good cards. And then our opponent just kind of drew into lands after that because they got rid of so many good cards early. Okay, you... 
So you had a you were playing Abzan here. You had a Johnny overperforming quite a bit. I'm kind of assuming you're talking about. I guess playing against Swamp. I want to keep that land, honestly. I'm assuming you're talking about the green white Ajani, not the mono white Ajani. For how I have this build, I'm pretty worried about having creatures, like other stuff in play for green white Ajani, honestly. Bond Revival. Well, Bellhaunt could just help turn on my opponent's hand by letting them discard some large card. So that's kind of a bummer. I do have Tristani as some protection against Agent of Treachery. <clears throat> Tristani only gets back creatures that were stolen. Not lands or planeswalkers or anything else. Well, they just had the ability. Just had the ability to discard something good to Tonebound Lich, and they didn't. So let's just play the Bell Hunt here. I was thinking that was Kaya. Don't want to go down too low. I think maybe two more times is all I'll activate this. All right, last, last shot. All right, so I definitely want Kaya. I I would need one more legend in my graveyard to be able to just play Kethis then Kaya. Oh wait, I can still just play Kethis then Kaya. So yeah, that's fine. And then do I really need this Doom Whisper? Probably not. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep it. All right. Hey, Waifu. Yeah. I'm a huge uh, Postal Service fan as well, especially this album. You know, it's a, we're talking about over a decade ago now. I used to listen to this album all the time. faced undead horrors. This is child's play. Hey, what's up, Angel? To see me no more. How's life going really good. You down there, Angel? You won this time. Trying to do too many things. Arena doesn't like that I was trying to put high boats in the chat. It's all good. Excited about the Cowboys this year. They've played three teams that are not very good, but they've looked perfect. So it's about all you can do is look perfect. Um, so I can either have Soren bring back Kethis and block... Let's just get Golgari Queen in play. And kill this way. Only a fool stands I 
grow bored with this fight. Yeah, second second half deck has been insane. I was you know watching the game yesterday uh, earlier and it showed the graphic that like in the second half this year. Um, He's only th he only threw one incompletion all year in three games in the second half. He's like like 29 for 30 or something something completely ridiculous like that. All right, I'm actually going to just cash in the Soren cuz they have one card in hand. I'm going to make them discard that card whatever it is. Okay, it's just a land. Everyone is expendable. Still cashing it in. Never know. Like, you know, they had six mana there. Like, maybe they were pl planning on playing Agent of Treachery or Dracuseth or something crazy at seven. Who knows? Yeah, the Saints. Yeah, the Saints won last week, but they had a lot of uh, they had a lot of special teams and like de like a defensive touchdown, special teams touchdown, like stuff like that. So yeah, we'll we'll see how they do next week. I'd, they put up a good amount of points, but I don't think it was really the offense too much. I guess the day's your lucky day. I'm really sad about, uh, you know, I'm a Steelers fan, as y'all know, like being uh, being from Iowa, being, you know, Iowa Hawkeyes, black and gold, and the Steelers were black and gold. I'm really, really sad how the offense looked against the 49ers. Defense looked great for most of the game until the fourth quarter, and then they ran out of gas. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this. I, you know, the Saints aren't going to be as good without Drew Brees, but I don't think. I don't think their season's dead, basically. Oh, now that you mentioned that, now I remember that Angel. I forgot about that. I just I remember you having. I remember like us hanging out and you having like the Cowboys jersey. But yeah, actually, now that you remember, now that you mentioned that, I remember. Yeah, I realized that. All right, so we're three and zero. Abzan hero. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Cyclones looked great uh, against you know whatever Division three school or whatever whoever they played last week. Put up like seventy points. I like that that quarterback for the Cyclones. He looks real good. Oh, I didn't see that, Ived. Antonio Brown says that he's retiring. <laughs> Been a Chiefs fan since 72. All I got to say, it's about time we had a top, sh top shelf QB. Yeah, Pat Mahomes is special. Except for, you know, Pat Mahomes likes ketchup on everything. That's weird. Puts... Ketchup on a steak. Never tried that. Ketchup on a steak. Be like. I kind of want to keep this land. Yeah, let's just keep the land. We don't have green. Like, the problem is we don't have green mana. Like, if we had green mana, it would be a lot easier keep for the land. But let's just keep it anyway. Feather. Fortunately, Kaya's probably not doing a whole lot against Feather. Ooh, that's a pretty great hand over there. Vindicator Tajik. That's an awesome combo. 
That's an awesome combo. A Redskins fan? Uh, sorry about Dan Snyder there. The best part about the Redskins are their coaching staff. I, I do really like the Redskins coaching staff. I think they have a lot of a lot of real good coaches there. They they have like below average talent but still get average record every year. Yeah, praying for Tristani here. The, yeah, the cur the curtains like that because of, because of Hawkeye. He'll like he he likes to go like there you know that's the couch and then the curtains with the little windowsill there. He likes to like sit on the couch and and look through the curtains and everything. So that's why it looks a little tilted. Hawkeye likes to go like on on both. Both sides, both like this side over here and, of course, in the middle over here. I'm basically dead. Because, like, a pro-white Swift Blade Vindicator next turn kills me. This will force them to use the Defiant Strike, at least. Yeah, I'm basically dead. But basically, I mean completely. I could just shock it and play Tristani and hope they don't... Uh, no, I'm just dead. Swift Blade Vindicator. Such a good card. I Obviously, like, you know, I completely regret using the Legions and on the other thing and not having it for Vindicator. But you just don't see that much Vindicator running around. There's nothing I can do here to survive. GG's. All right, we're three and one. Still nothing wrong with that. But you know, that's a sideboard matchup where we'd bring in a whole bunch more removal. Of course. The Kaya looked pretty silly last game. Let's see how it looks here. Oh, I don't have black mana? I thought I did. Well then, this is worse. Can I, can I re-mulligan? So you had black mana the whole time. We just have like all shock land, so even though I would like to be able to hold up to spark this turn, um, we just can't really do that with having only shock lands. Yeah, they ramping. They ramping real hard. No second black source for Bell Hunt. It's only non land permanents with CMC one or less. All these have CMC two.
I could see them having Voracious Hydra in hand right now and like trying to decide whether or not to play Voracious Hydra. Oh. They have that thing. That would have been a lot of damage. Leafkins can just possibly add two if they have another creature. They still have 10 mana right now. Incubation Druid adding three. I was really hoping they were going to block with the Incubation Druid. And then we would have been able to kill the Druid as well. I was definitely hoping for that. It's definitely hoping for that. Where's this black mana at? Well, of course, we have to spark for that. Um, just no attacks, huh? The land will not forsake you. All right, Nessa down. Can we get this through the finish line? We will not Maybe not. Behold, nature's true power. No, Kaya says exile target non-land permanent. Non-land. You cannot exile lands. Could be finale, yeah. Like they're yes, they're debating on what to do with finale. Wow, that was a good draw. We just need to hold the two creatures back to block. I just did want to block with the forest, I guess. You should fear those born of darkness. I haven't. Uh, the question is: Is there enough death touch in the new set? 
especially the new Mythic, to make a Death Touch Tribal set. Or to make a Death Touch Tribal deck. I haven't, I really haven't uh, put too much thought into that or really looked around. Um, but yeah, you do have, of course, Questing Beast. Is that card there? Um, you have the the black one two with afterlife that has death touch. I I don't know if there's enough. Like I just don't know. Um, you know, I'd have to just kind of do a do a search, basically, and just type in death touch for like the cards in these sets and and see. So I, I'm not sure. No, I didn't do the, the lifelink, just because lifelink didn't matter whenever our opponent was dead. Like the I did the surprise. Oh, by the way, I have lethal. Instead there. Winged words. That card's cool. Alright, we got our fair Kethis deck. So I think I'm probably just going Tulsa more this next turn. Eating up a healer's hawk. Yeah. And then I'll have the ability to play one of these Planeswalkers and Trophy afterwards. Yeah, I guess I did need the double green, didn't I? So I did top deck that double green I needed. Oh yeah, this card's really good. It's a really good card. Yeah, you don't have to just play only legends for it. It's still it's just it's just good. That was a really good turn for my opponent. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. Now this was a really good turn for us. I can't. I can't really stop another Safara though, so that's what you know. We had the one removal spell. I'm pretty worried about a, another Safara. We have, I mean, we obviously we have cards in our deck that could, but we don't have any right now. What's up, Caesar? Okay. Well, Soren. Soren gained us 10 life. And then, and now another 6 with the attack. Okay, they're not attacking Soren. Like last turn, we gained 9 here, the tick up. The so Soren dealt 1 damage, gained 10 life so far. Now he's going to gain 4 life? Oh, they're they're doing rally. All right, so gain eight. This will not be my final parting. All 
to gain 18 total life from that Soren. It's pretty good considering I'm at 14. So if they have another rally, I'm dead. It's just how it is. Um... Thing is, like, if they have a rally, I'm dead. If they don't, maybe Bell Hunt helps us stabilize. No, not really. Well, I didn't have anything to do on turn two. My turns after that have been really good. But my opponent... Yeah, they still could have had lethal with a rally, but it looks like they don't have it, thankfully. Even with that being said. I won't forgive this. So I was thinking that if they don't have a rally, they probably had a lord. So that's why I was thinking of not keeping the bell haunt. And we have been drawn pretty well here. So no, I have I have just exactly two legendary or legends into my graveyard, so I don't get to get Soren back. I was hoping that I had three and I could get Soren back whenever I checked a little bit ago. That was a really good game. I drew really well. But Kethis really helped out with that extra with like the ramp and also just being a three power creature. Kethis was really strong for us. GG's. Hey Vorpal. Thanks for keeping on that sub streak here. Three months. You are awesome. Thank you so much there, Vorpal. It's our eighth sub of the day. Yeah, Soren, Soren was also... Yeah, Soren was, was MVP, gaining 18 life and us ending at, you know, 7 or whatever. Let's see. <sighs> hmm. Basically, the reason why I'm kind of thinking about this is because the temple... I guess we are on the play, so it's harder to draw lands than to... I'm just going to ship it. All right, I like this more. I need to draw two lands for Tulsimer. Maybe I should just keep the double Othakaya Bell Haunt. No. It's tough with the turn one scry when you don't know what you're doing. I. Okay, I'm glad we got rid of that. I'm really glad we got rid of that Dispark. Yeah, Soren gained 10, but also was attacked for 8. You know, like, Soren took 8 damage from attack. Or that would have been 8 damage at me. We're just playing against the same deck again, it looks like. I need to draw lands. Yay. Maybe that'll work again. We need to draw one more. Yeah. Um. Ooh, that card's good. Card's good to get disparked. See a hero. Yeah, I think there's going to be uh, decks with four Cavalier of Knights. Um, I'm probably going to be playing a mono black deck with four Cavalier of Knights. 
uh, first day of Throne of Eldraine, trying it out. Um, I've played Orzhov mid-range decks. I usually call them Orzhov Sacrifice. I've played those with, with Cavalier of Knights. I've usually just played three. Like, I started with four. I kind of cut it down to three. But that's an option. Um, as far as, like, for... for um, I did... Uh, so, Train, yeah, I did play one. And if you check out the... YouTube playlist there. Go to standard twenty, like standard twenty twenty. I did play the Orzhov sacrifice deck in standard twenty twenty with three Cavalier of Night. I'm known for my excellent timing. I'll protect you. That's pretty good timing. Not gonna lie. Pretty good timing. Let me know if you're up for round two. If I attacked, if I just attacked my opponent that last turn, that's risky. If I just attacked my opponent last turn, what I was saying is that that would have put them down to 11 and I had 12 power on the battlefield, but, you know, the unsummon, not too important now. Find Finality was really, like, the card that I was kind of looking for there. But I'm just going to keep both of these. Like, so I had, yeah, so I had the option of, in case there was Safara. To be able to have Mortify. But just another one drop, so I'm just going to play Doom Whisper again. I had to block both three power creatures to stay alive. Yeah, Mardu Knights is, is worth trying. Yeah. You know, they have there's the new Mardu land. They just Oh, lifelink. So there's there's the new Mardu land. So you got that. Um that it's kind of similar to Unclaimed Territory, though, but... You know, it's to be seen if it will work or not, but it's definitely worth trying. If you want temples, Mardu does have the ability to have two different temples with Temple of Triumph and Temple of Silence. Six and one. All right, we're going to do one more here with Abzan Hero before moving to Chandra Tribal. Do one more of these leagues. We're just playing three of these leagues with each deck. Oops, wrong deck. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me Butter because I'm on a roll. <laughs> Hmm. 
Oh yeah, we got the flower. We got white mana with flower. It's so rough. <laughs> Who knows? This could be like the best card in my deck or it could be the worst. <laughs> oh, we'll just keep it. There's a better chance that it does stuff. If it doesn't do stuff. Ugh, good keep, good keep. Smart. I own a lot of ties. I don't know I don't know the exact number. Maybe somewhere in your like fifty to seventy range, something like that. Do I want to, I don't know, like, everything is, like, reasonable to do, basically. I guess I'm going to just mortify the cavalcade. Ugh. Definitely didn't want to see that card. Hopefully we draw another land and we get to Golgari Queen this thing. Just let me burn. Say hi to my fiery friends. Hmm. Means we'll definitely be able to play Golgari Queen next turn, as long as we untap with Kethis. And maybe maybe we get to go hero Kaya. Say hi to my fiery friends. That wouldn't be bad. Oh, do they have heart fire? Dang. Well, I guess that's better for me than, than them having a lava coil. The sparks are just dead. They won us a lot of other games, but they're just dead here. Yeah, Woodward, thanks for reminding me about that. I was thinking about doing that after rotation, but I had kind of forgotten about it, to be honest. Thanks for reminding me about that. <sighs> Just a double steamkin. Wow. Don't worry. I brought company. It's an unfortunate loss. Just 
Not over yet. If we draw Tulsimer, we have a shot, I suppose. Your life's about to end. We need to find Tulsimer. Time to sleep for a week. Yeah, they. Ugh. No Tulsimer. All right, six and two. But that's our our first loss here, so we got our back against the wall. Let's see if we can win three in a row. Yep, GGs. After this league, I'm going to be doing a, a quick one-minute bounty where uh, we watch the season 10 trailer for The Walking Dead. So please stick around for that if you don't mind uh, to help out the stream. Bounties are like advertisements where I get paid based on how many viewers we have in here. So it's just it's a one minute thing. We just watch the trailer there for The Walking Dead season 10. Land, yay. Let's get these bag of bones out of here for good. All right, two of them. Wow. We did play against that opponent earlier. Um, no, it looks like 10th season's only on AMC. It could be on Netflix, you know, later on after the season. Um, but, you know, it's going to premiere on AMC. Thanks, Kitty. All right, seven and two. Let's see. This looks like pretty good. I mean, so again, like, so I, I took out a night of a night of autumn for the Seraph, and this is a time like where night of autumn would fit the curve a lot better, being able to go night into Soren. But unfortunately, uh, you know, unfortunately, it's it's Seraph. However, Seraph can be a more impactful card potentially. Hey, Blue Jen. Love it. Man, that's such a good card. Now whenever we play Soren, if they try to attack Soren, like the trigger and everything. Big question is Seraph or Soren? And I think we're at Seraph. If I would have played, if see, so, you know, I could have just played Soren here and attacked Seraph, or like had Seraph attack there with Lifelink. If I would have done, like, if Soren's in play and then you play Tulsimer, the the wolf that fights has Life Link, so you like gain, you actually gain six life. You know, you're three life from the trigger, then an additional three life because of the Life Link while it fights. Because Soren 
It says your creatures have lifelink during your turn. So this can sack stuff to do damage to planeswalkers. Honestly, not sure if I'm supposed to attack there with Tulsa or maybe I am. Also, it's it's possible I should have waited a turn for Soren. I could Legion's end this fire blade artist first. Nope. Stabilized. All right, we're eight and two. We're staying true here, being eight and two. Yeah, there's new keywords in Eldraine. Um, there's there's always new keywords, like basically every set. Um, I think there is just every set for the most part. Um, but yeah, like there's like uh, food is a keyword that wasn't before. Um, I think adamant is the one that cares about the three different colors. Hmm. All these cards are so good. I mean, I could ditch Tulsimer, but, you know, curving Kethis into Tulsimer is awesome. Here is Soren or Mortify. I mean, I think I need the Bond of Flourishing, right, to make sure we hit land drops. What if we just get rid of Bond of Flourishing and just pray to hit lands being on the draw? These All these cards are so good. No, I'm, I'm not going to be Clockwork John. Uh, the Gruel, the Gruel Galta deck that we're going to be playing later on, our donation deck there. That's a this, this is a um, best two out of three deck. We have been drawing poorly. That to spark is a terrible card to draw right now. Oh, they're actually Jeskai. Never mind. I thought they were going to be like you know Feather, this and I was all sad. Because Mortify is a good removal spell, and but yeah, we, I could have got rid of Mortify also, I suppose. I don't have a bet for best deck post rotation. Don't worry, I got this. Um, I guess, I guess I would. It's probably probably going to be a Cavalier Thorn, like Risen Reef, Cavalier Thorn, Krasis, Nissa, that kind of stuff. I guess if to have something. All right, first land in there. No shock, November. Ooh, it's no shock, November. Love it. Ooh, no time wipe either. Feel the heat of my flames. Your end has arrived. This is why I don't really like Soren in these decks. Soren turns on like my Mortify. Like if you're playing Jeskai Control and you're not playing creatures, my Mortify would be dead. But Soren just turns on my Mortify to being a removal spell. I spent five mana to deal with a deal with a uh, deal with the Soren. Hmm. 
Yeah, sorry, I, I meant Sarkin. My B, my B. What's up, Kendis? Gifting out some subs. Thank you so much there, Kendis. I really should attack there first. I kind of panicked by not doing anything for a little bit. Listen to them roar. But I really should attack there first and then do that second main. No. That was that was pretty bad. That was a mistake by me right there. Thank you so much, Kendis. I appreciate that. Yeah, I messed that up. And now we're in trouble. I need that Legion's End. <laughs> We're not close to that sub goal now. <laughs> We gotta act first. Before three mana to fairies here. <laughs> I feel nothing. How could I have lost? Trust me, you'll thank me later. Might be a bad idea. Hmm. A triumph of the weak. All right, get that thing out of here. That didn't go according to plan. It could have been a lot of their win cons. It could be a lot of their win cons. Ugh, that was that was one win con I was worried about though. I was, <laughs> I was about to say that. Oh my gosh. Hey, Panda. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Candace, you are so amazing. So congratulations to our new subs here. Thanks to Santa Kendis. Um... I don't think I really have anything 
to do. I mean, I, I just messed this up. Like, think if they just had, you know, one less dragon this whole time. I, I really messed this game up with that Tulsimer play a long time ago, but we're trying to, still trying to get in there. But I messed that up really bad earlier. Yeah, to drag all to attack, all you have to do is click on your creatures. You could just go click, 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 click. You just click on all the creatures that you want to attack and then click for them to attack where you want them to. So you can click on the creature first. So two sub goals today are sub goals four and five. Um, towards our next 12 hour stream. So we're doing a 12 hour stream every 20 sub goals. We're already doing one on Thursday for Throne of Eldraine, as you can see down here. And so we're uh, building towards our next one after that. So we've hit five so far now. I'm going to update that total. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. No, I don't have any ethereal absolutions. No. My card that I need to draw is Bola Citadel. That's that's the card. Like Bola Citadel can get me in there. Um, if I put them down to two, then Oath of Kaya can kill them off the top. We'll do that. I hate seeing the interplanar beacon, of course. You and I are gonna take that definitely fire. makes me want wanted to kill Narset now, because now Narset can find another planeswalker. I missed two damage on the attack to Sarkin. Did I just did I just do it in the wrong way or something? I thought I attacked Sarkin for two and attacked them for more. Did I just point him towards the wrong the wrong Boom. ones? Yeah, Kendris. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Kendis. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, that can certainly work. Uh, fourth Sarkin. Fourth Teferi. Sorry, I'm late. So they got all four Teferis, all four Sarkins. Now both Akaya doesn't work. Yeah, that sounds good, Kendis. Yeah, sure can. What's that smell? Um, it's you burning. Two thirty-seven doesn't mean that you're just in the top thousand for Mythic already, with it being eight days away. So it's it's not locked. I mean, I'm about to lose this and go down to like four hundred or whatever. Also, hey, Marias. So I've done the hero thing before. So yeah, I guess if I did it that attack backwards, then yeah, I lost because of that too. So yeah, I made I made two really bad mistakes here. So yeah, I made I made two really bad mistakes this match. But that's okay. We're eight and three. Yeah, yeah, you can give me a punt for that one. It's all good. My brain's a little fried after that twelve or the ten hour talking and everything yesterday with all the the new cards and everything. My brain's a little fried. Well, that's all right. All right, so yeah, as we said, so we didn't quite get that three win there. So there is, um, there's Abzan Hero. Honestly, this deck looked really good. You know, so we went eight and three and. 
you know, should have been nine and two if I just played that last one better. Should have definitely won that last one. Um, but yeah, this was just really good. I mean, Kathis was awesome for us. Got to say that Soren, of course, was incredible. Um, Tulsimer was awesome. This is gonna be this is gonna be a really good spot to play, put Garrick in for the new set. Um, I kind of want to put something besides Bond of Flourishing. It's mostly in there, of course, because of Citadel. Um, but uh, we'll see like what there is in the new set to be able to kind of replace that. Um, haven't really thought about that slot, but I don't love the Bond of Flourishing. Um, I mean, I guess there is Once Upon a Time now that's kind of an upgrade there. But, but you know, and uh, so like this is, you know, tomorrow... Yeah, there's no stream tomorrow, but I'll be building uh, decks tomorrow for uh, Thursday's 12-hour stream, and this is one that I'll be focusing on for sure. It's fun, fun deck to play here. Fun deck to play. All right, so that's Abzan Hero. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And, of course, make sure you check out the Throne of Eldraine Brewer set review that we did yesterday where we spent... Um, you know, as I mentioned, we spent 10 hours talking about um, all the cards in the set, every single card, and talking about how it could be used in standard. Um, so yeah, and if you're if you're here in chat, there's the YouTube link to check that out later. But thank you so much for watching some Abzan Hero in standard 2020, and I'll.